Hi everyone, today I want to share with you the ATCs that I have made for the July ATC swap that I am hosting on the Scrap Beach. The theme for July was show your colors, meaning the colors of your flag, and um, this is the design that I came up with. It is the American flag, which we call Old Glory. And I tried to find some way of, of making um, fireworks since fireworks are a big part of our um, independent celebration in front of the flag. So let me show you how I, how I designed some of these elements. And let's see here. I first started with my two and a half by three and a half chipboard base, um, car chip, yeah, chipboard base, and then I covered that with these uh, cardstock strips in red and white, alternating in red and white to represent the stripes in the flag. Let me see, I'm a little close here. Okay, so then what I did was I also found this uh, uh, blue and stars card stock or paper and cut it accordingly for the corner of the, um, the flag. And then taking my pumice stone Tim Holtz distress ink, I just distressed the whole flag just to kind of age it. Starting with the edges and kind of working a little bit into the center. Okay, so then what I did was to make the old glory embellishment in the corner, I printed up um, old glory on the computer on a piece of white cardstock. See if I can get that to hold still. Um, and I can't remember which font I use, but I'll print that on the screen. So I took um, and I cut the strips and then I made this kind of um, ribbon ends and then I aged the edges and the corners with the pumice stone distress ink again and then covered it with the crackle accents and to get this shape what I did was to um, let it dry flat and then once the edges started to crackle I took and made the shape that I wanted. I manipulated these ends up and a bend in the in the center and then let it finish drying in that position and that actually really helped it to manipulate into this shape that I wanted and then after it was done I went back in and kind of aged these edges right here. So now what I'm doing is to attach it. There's just one foam square um, that I have in the back attaching it to, um, to the corner of the, the ATC card. Just kind of at an angle like that. So then for my fireworks, on a piece of, I, I t uh, did this on a piece of transparency, I used actually this stamp from this Christmas, uh, Inkadoo Inkadoo Christmas collection, the Pattern Play Holiday collection, and I used this stamp here and I actually only used this section right here because I liked the way the flourishes looked as though um, there was uh, as though they were fireworks and I kind of used these these dots here um, to place 
stars, which are these stars here in different sizes, um, little star rhinestones in red, white, and blue. So, uh, so on the transparency, I actually stamped with my cotton white stays on ink and I just stamped this section, stamped it on the transparency. Then while it was still wet, I took um, my favorite embossing powder, is one that I put together, I make myself. It's just clear embossing powder and I add glitter to it. And I use this a lot, especially around the holidays, and it's just, um, it just sparkles. It just adds a little extra oomph to some of my projects. So what I did was I heat embossed that so that it kind of added to the whole glitter sparkle um, effect and added my rhinestones in the appropriate places so that it kind of looked like, I think it looks like fireworks. So I hope you do too. Then putting, and then I, of course I, I cut it out and then put foam squares on the back of it to give it some more dimension. And then just placing it in the corner here like that. So that is my July ATC. And I hope that you like to, let me see if I can get you, give you some more detail on that. I, I've got the camera on zoom, so it's almost too much detail, huh? Okay, so anyway, I hope that I showed you a little something that you haven't seen before, that you like my, my July ATCs, and um, everyone, happy scrapping, and ta-ta for now.